Hello and welcome to our 12th session where we are now going to learn about the next function in unity which is called as get component. So, to understand this let us come to unity and now see in unity we actually have the game objects present in our scene. So, I will go to file save this see this main camera direction floor player all the wall left wall bottom all these are the game camera and for every camera on the right hand side in the inspector you will have various components for example transform is a component cube is a component mesh renderer is a component box collider is a component and even the script that we allot is also a component. Now, here in this now when you are checking it now we want actually when this uh, player goes and hits the wall we want the color of this wall to change when this comes and hits the wall and for this where does this color where can we change the color of this wall to change the color we have to come to the object properties and in this you have mesh renderer and in mesh renderer you will have material and in this material you can actually make the change to the color. See here you can see you have this walls material and you can change the color. Now, the same thing we are going to achieve it using the script. So, now if you come back to your script that is object hit dot cs file instead of debugging it when the collusion happens I want the color of the object to change to some other color say for example, I want it to change it to red. So, to achieve this the function that we are going to call now is inside this on collusion enter instead of this debug log we are going to call a method called get component. This get component is a method where you have to specify which method you want uh, sorry which component you want and this component is mentioned in this less lesser than and greater than sign. So, in between this lesser than and greater than sign we are going to specify our component. So, right now if you come to unity the component that we need here is mesh renderer see this is the component we need which has the material. So, for this now I am going to come to my script and in the name inside this open and close uh, that is uh, left arrow and right arrow I am going to now type mesh renderer. So, mesh <coughs> so you have get component and what is the component we want to get it is mesh renderer and we have to put this component name between the right arrow that is between the greater than and lesser than sign and this is again a method. So, we have to conclude it with parenthesis we have to add parenthesis and close it and after this inside this component mesh renderer if you come to unity I need materials. So, for this I will come back here to script to call some component which is within another component we use the period or the full stop and then what is the component we need material and this material m will be small and in this material what is the component I need I again press period and I am going to call for color and the name of this color will be C O L O R ok and so get component mesh renderer material color I want to 
assign this that is I will put an equal sign and I want its color to be this time I will use C O L O R color C is capital then I will press period and I am going to choose the color. So, now you come to the browser and in the if you come to the documentation of unity in unity documentation if you search for color you will have descripting API color wherein some of the colors can be directly called see black, blue, clear, cyan, grey, green, grey, uh, magenta, red and I am going to call this color directly. So, you can use this documentation to understand it. Now, I will come back to my script and here after color I will type red and end it with semicolon. So, now what this is going to do is I am going to get the component mesh renderer and in this mesh renderer I am assessing the material color and I am setting it to color red and when will this happen when some object gets collided with this game object because we are putting it inside on collusion enter method or callback method. So, now I will go to file choose save now I will come back here and wait till the script gets compiled. So, once the script is compiled in console we are not seeing any error. Now, I will increase this gaming area and now if I play the game and when the game is running now if I bring this player and hit on the wall see the color changed to red. So, if I hit it to the right see the color changed to red. See if I hit it to left the color changed to red. I will come back and hit here see the color change. So, whenever our object hits any other object any of the wall the wall color is changing to red. So, in this session you got introduced to another feature of unity which we call as get component and using get component we are getting the mesh renderer component and in it we are assessing the material and in material we are assessing the color and we have set its color to red and we have put this entire code in on collusion enter. So, with this we are going to conclude this session now and in our next session we are going to work with scores that is whenever a collusion happens or whenever some event happens we want the scores to increase this we call it as incrementing the score and this incrementing the score we are going to study it in our next session thank you.